Hello and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Advertising can be a great thing. It can either show us something that we really want to waste our money on to distract from our depressing existence, or they can just be a source of entertainment. Sometimes, however, the ad companies take their eye off the ball and release something in such bad taste that you wonder how many people got fired. So today, we're looking at the top 10 dumbest advertising campaigns. We'll return after these messages. Do you hate hunting the internet for videos? Do you want to avoid doing the work you should be doing? Then subscribe to the Daily Top 10's YouTube channel for free access to videos that will probably not improve your life, but will help you delay dealing with it, because it's not worth it. Number 10. Kendall, Pepsi in the 2017 Pepsi advert, the company tried to show that they were down with the people on the current social issues. However, what came out was so mind-blowingly patronizing it makes you wonder how this monstrosity managed to make it through the brainstorming session, let alone becoming a fully-fledged ad. It seems to imply that model and generally pointless celebrity Kendall Jenner fixes the entire Black Lives Matter protest by giving a policeman a Pepsi. Coke must have rubbed their hands in joy when they saw that one. Number 9. Paddy Power Immigrants Lorry For some people, the idea that betting companies are allowed to advertise is bad enough given what a huge problem gambling addiction is across the world. But Irish betting company Paddy Power thought it was a good idea to put full ads on the side of trucks which said, Immigrants, jump in the back, but only if you're good at sport. It was accompanied by pictures of British athletes born abroad like Olympic superstar Mo Farah. Number 8. Bloomingdale's Eggnog when you release a 90-second advert, it's understandable that you might miss some small detail that could come across badly. But a full-page poster with just one sentence? You should really be able to check that pretty easily. So, when Bloomingdale's ran a picture of a man looking at a woman while she looked off in a different direction, they decided a great slogan would be, Spike your best friend's eggnog when they're not looking. Yeah. Drug your own friend. Of all the things you'd choose to associate your brand with, date rape is probably the stupidest. Number 7. IBM Hacker Hairdryer Bloomingdale's were not alone in offending women. IBM were actively trying to be supportive of women in technology, but they shouldn't have let an 80-year-old drunk grandpa come up with their ideas. To promote women in tech, they made a video about how to hack a hairdryer, the most stereotypically girly product possible. Obviously, women couldn't hack an engine or a stereo. They might break a nail and then have a period or something. Female scientists were less than impressed. Number 6. Game Boy Micro – Mouse Humping Nintendo have a fun, reasonably family-friendly brand. But in the 90s, they promoted the new Game Boy Micro in a very strange way. A pair of scientists stand over a maze. At one end is a piece of cheese, at the other, the new Game Boy. They put a mouse in the maze and he rushes over to the Game Boy. But rather than play it or eat it, the mouse begins to vigorously hump the console. The ad even closes with one of the scientists seeming to enjoy watching it. So, you should give your new Nintendo Switch a bit of a wipe down. The company may not have changed their testing policies. Number 5. Bud Light Up For Whatever We all want to be a bit more carefree and impulsive, and big brands like to try and inspire us to feel like their products will make our lives more exciting. However, you have to be careful how you phrase things. Bud Light was trying to get across the idea that their beers would make you more likely to say yes to new experiences, but the way they decided to phrase it on the bottle was, the perfect beer for removing no from your vocabulary for the night. Um, no means no. You understand that, don't you, Bud Light? Number 4. Britney Spears – Radiance Ok, so all perfume ads are pretty stupid. That's not really a surprise since the only thing that should matter is if you like the smell. 
but Britney's radiance ad is such a confusing jumble that it still stands out. We see the singer sneak out a back exit, escaping the press, but still wearing a full silver ball gown. She visits a fortune teller who sits in front of a crystal ball and asks, Do you want me to tell you the future? To which Britney says, No thanks, I choose my own destiny, and then walks out. Um, why did you go there then? And what does that have to do with smell and radiance? At least she didn't call it toxic. Number 3. Big Rock Beer Beer is an easy sell. Most of us are already cheering for Team Beer, but the battle between the brands is fierce, so Big Rock decided they needed to push the boundary a little and try and make a name for themselves. Well, they didn't just push the boundary, they knocked it over, kicked it unconscious, and stole its wallet. The ad opens with a long montage of a guy aggressively cleaning his teeth and downing mouthwash. It then cuts to earlier in the day when he's offered a big rock light. His reply is that if this is a light beer, he'll suck Bill's c and then it cuts out, but you fill in the blank. Great, so now it's the beer that makes you have to pleasure your buddies. I'm sure that's just what all guys were after. Number 2. 1985 Plymouth Duster Commercial To be fair to the Plymouth Duster ad, it probably seemed pretty cool at the time, but with the benefit of hindsight, they managed to make the most unbelievably 80s piece of television ever created. Cheesy pop song with stupid guitar solo? Check. A phenomenal amount of permed hair? Check. Clothing that's baggy in weird places? Check. If only they could have had Ronald Reagan and Margaret Thatcher laughing over a Rubik's Cube, that would have been an 80s perfect 10. Number 1. Saved by Zero This Toyota ad wasn't so bad on its own. It featured a cover of an 80s hit called Saved by Zero and just showed cars driving past a big zero showing their 0% financing. However, Toyota decided to go on an insane overkill when it came to buying ad space and in some sports games the audience would see the ad every few minutes for hours on end. For hours on end. For hours on end. For a Okay, you get the idea. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video, and remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Hello, my children. This is Jesus here, reaching out to you from above to say you are nearly in my good books and to come join me in my kingdom. But first, you must subscribe to Daily Top 10's, or thou shalt deem you unworthy of my kingdom. So, subscribe now.